am I the asshole for cutting my dad off if he misses my graduation? So I'm 18M and I have a half-brother who is the same age as me. We'll call him Cameron. Our dad got two women pregnant around the same time. I'm older by six months. My dad chose Cameron's mom over mine and they're married now. Cameron is his parents' only child. Anyway, I've always felt like I was just a backup son for my dad. I know he does love me, but not as much as Cameron. I live an hour and a half away from him but he would always make the drive to come see me when I was younger and still does to this day. If I ever need anything he'll make sure I get it. He took me on trips all the time with just me and him. But still, I felt like an outsider. He would constantly put me second to Cameron. If we both had sports games on the same day he would always go to Cameron's with his wife. Once when I had an award ceremony he couldn't come because Cameron was sick, it was just a cold BTW. When I wanted him to teach me how to drive he said he couldn't because he promised Cameron he would teach him first but that he'd help me after Cameron got his license. I could list off a bunch of other examples. My dad would show up to my stuff but if Cameron had something going on at the same time he wouldn't come. Cameron and I aren't friends. We get along fine if we're together but neither of us is going out of the way to talk to the other. I think he's spoiled and obviously our dad's favorite. Our dad and his mom did him no favors because his grades are bad and his life has no direction. He didn't apply to any colleges and he won't even get a part-time job. We're both graduating high school this year. His school district released their graduation schedule after mine and of course, our graduations are on the same day at the same time. We live an hour and a half apart so obviously our dad can't make it to both. He's known my graduation date for weeks before Cameron learned his. We already had plans for him to come and spend the day here. But I knew as soon as I saw that schedule he was gonna flake. At first, he said he wasn't sure what he was gonna do. He's been avoiding the topic for weeks but our graduations are on the 29th so he has to decide now. Well, yesterday he took me to dinner. He told me that he was going to go to Cameron's graduation. He said it was because Cameron's grandparents weren't gonna be able to make it and Cameron would only have his mom while I have my mom, stepdad, siblings, and grandparents all coming to mine. I'm not an idiot. It was just an excuse that I knew would be coming. He tried to soften the blow by promising me he'd make up for it by taking me on a graduation trip anywhere I wanted to go. Even though he had already promised me that months ago. He's taking his wife and Cameron on a family trip to Hawaii in June. It's supposed to be Cameron's graduation trip but he promised he and I would have our own trip. Now all of a sudden that trip is supposed to also be a makeup for missing my graduation. So I told him okay, I want to go to this one weekend event that is on the same week he's going to Hawaii. He told me he can't because that's when they're going to Hawaii. I didn't actually want to go to this event, I was just proving a point. I told him to postpone his Hawaii trip so he can take me to the event. He said he can't because everything is already paid for and non-refundable. I told him that he's missing my high school graduation. The least he can do is make me the priority when it comes to the graduation trips. He said I'd have to pick a different weekend. I told him he doesn't actually care about making it up to me. He's only okay with what I want so long as it doesn't interfere with his real family. He denied it and told me to try to understand the position he's in. I told him straight up that he always chooses Cameron over me. For once I want to be the first choice. So I said I'll have a ticket ready for him but that if he doesn't come I'll know where I stand in his life. I don't care about a makeup trip. Either he shows up and we still have a relationship or I'm just done with him. He told me that I was being unreasonable and maybe I am, but I'm still standing my ground. I already know he's not going to come, even after my ultimatum. So am I the asshole for throwing away our entire relationship over this?